Welcome back to the Andrew Tate Show by GSMC Sports. Before the break, we were talking about The Rock and his new records in the Guinness Book of World Records. We were talking about um, how you get into the Guinness Book of World Records, how those those new categories get created. But we are moving on to Eminem, of course, an iconic rapper uh, who is back with a new single called Houdini, which has taken the music world by storm. This release marks the first track from his, from his upcoming album, The Death of Slim Shady, or Coup de Grasse. In true Slim Shady fashion, uh, the song not only references his past hits, but also delivers a powerful performance reminiscent of his earlier work. Upon its release, Houdini topped charts globally. On iTunes, it reached the number one spot in over 17 countries, including the US, UK, and Canada. On Apple Music, the track achieved top positions in the UK, Canada, and the US. Additionally, it debuted at number three on the global Spotify charts with 7.85 million streams and number four on the US charts with over 2.97 million streams, making it one of the biggest debuts of the year. The music video for Houdini quickly became the most viewed video on YouTube within its first 24 hours, amassing over 13.5 million views and 1.3 million likes. The video creatively merges elements from Eminem's classic Without Me video, featuring both his younger and older selves, along with cameos from notable figures like Dr. Dre, 50 Cent, Snoop Dogg, and Pete Davidson. Eminem's clever marketing campaign, which included a magician-themed cover art and a collaboration with magician David Blaine, has built significant anticipation for the album. The campaign also figured a featured a fake obituary for his alter ego, Slim Shady, emphasizing the theme of transformation and rebirth. As Eminem gears up for the release of The Death of Slim Shady, Coup de Grasse, Houdini sets a high bar, showcasing his enduring relevance and the ability to dominate the charts. Fans and critics alike are eagerly awaiting what may be one of the most impactful albums of his career. Hey, this song has been stuck in my head for a couple days. <laughs> How about you? This song is bumping. I did this, this is one of the best songs like it's already one of my all-time favorite Eminem songs and it's kind of weird as you were reading this and talking about this I'm like holy crap am I old <laughs> okay old has been a theme of the, of no, today. think about this I want you to think about this I am going six different decades I've been listening to hip-hop do you understand that mm -hmm. now I'm only 54 but I'm hitting six decades yep in the late 70s, you know, uh, I remember as a little kid, you know, just coming out and listening to Grandmaster Five, Flash and the Furious Five and Houdini and all that as a kid going into breaking and run DMC and then rolling into, you know, Public Enemy, which I was a huge Public Enemy fan, my all-time favorite group, N.W.A., rolling all the way into now, uh, you know, Nicki Minaj and and Megan Thee Stallion, all this, all these guys, and I've been listening to hip hop this whole time, and people get upset with me when I say this. I truly believe Eminem is the best and greatest rapper we've had i should have worn pearls <laughs> them. i know i know, I know. and that makes that makes triggered. people that that makes people angry when you say that i think he's the most talented rapper to come through i've been i've been from the start i am i am one of the original listeners of hip-hop from the 70s all the way to today I've never veered away from my hip hop. I love my hip hop. And Eminem is is just a different kind of guy. Um his number, I mean his the the numbers that this new album's going to do, I mean the fact that it debuted right off the top at number 1 in so many how many did you say 17, 17 countries? 17 countries, yep. 17 countries On talk iTunes. Talk about the global impact of of Eminem and this album with this song being so popular and getting off to such a huge uh hit this this album's going to be huge i could see this album 
talk about Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> this is an album that's going to set some records. That's going to put up some massive numbers. Um, and you don't see this. There's not a lot of rappers that come alone, you know, and stay three decades. I remember, you know, listening to Eminem in the 90s and the 2010s. And now it's the 2020s. And he has the number one hip hop album in the world right now. And it shows a guy who is mega talented, super relevant. Uh, and, you know, they were, they were talking about Gen Xers claiming. <laughs> Just going to bring that and up. And millennials claiming. Everyone wants to claim Eminem as part of theirs. Um, I love it. It was kind of cool because it was more of a flash. The video, the vi the song is bananas, but the video just takes you back because you start thinking about that old Slim Shady uh, stuff or, or the video with Dr. Dre and him when he pulls out the rock. He, when he pulls out the Robin mask and the Robin outfit and Dr. Dre's looking at him like, what the heck's wrong with you? And you forget like, man, some of the things that he says, people are talking about, he's gonna get canceled. You're not canceling Eminem because Eminem, you, the only way you can cancel somebody is they gotta care. Eminem doesn't care. Dave Chappelle doesn't care. You're not gonna cancel those kind of guys. Eminem's gonna say what he wants, how he, say, how he wants to say it, and it works. Uh, the, the entire day I saw the song, saw it because you know, the video and man, been bumping it in my head on repeat ever since then it's playing in my head. <laughs> and that's the thing that Eminem can do. But also, I mean, the sample, the abracadabra sample is like, I, that, you know what? That's very nostalgic for our generation. And then, so yeah, it's really interesting on social media watching Gen X claim him and millennials claim him because millennials grew up listening to him. Gen X, you know, he is kind of that age. So they're claiming him. And it's like a fight over. It's okay. There's enough Eminem. We can all. <laughs> and who thinks about, you know what? I'm going to make me a, I'm going to make me a, a beat. I'm going to loop in some abracadabra. abracadabra. Come on. What? If you'd have told me, hey, it's 2024 and you're going to be singing Abracadabra in your head, it'd be like, you are nuts. Now, that song's going to be doing well. Watch. That song's going to hit the charts as well. Eminem's on the charts. It's That shows the power and the relevance of Eminem. I'm very curious with that beat because that beat is so, so amazing. Did Dr. Dre produce that beat? Because anytime you put Eminem and Dr. Dre, they're in the video together. But anytime you mix Eminem and Dr. Dre with Dr. Dre's beat, it is always just unreal. And, and you know, old NWA head here. So we still claim Dr. Dre. It's also interesting that they that this with, with this album we're, we're killing off Slim Shady. I mean that that alter ego has been around for decades, and that I did I do remember reading it when it, whether it was a few months ago or a few weeks ago. Time is mm -hmm. relative uh, about that obituary that they put out the the death of <laughs> Slim Shady, and I thought okay, well that's clearly leading to something. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't even know about it. Mm -hmm. I had no clue about that. I just saw this. I, I just was flipping through my TikTok and and that song came on and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I had to, I went back and watched it again and again and again. Now I don't even know how many times I've watched it. And I'm like, Phew. Can I just say though that no matter how long Eminem has dark hair, I still don't recognize him without that bleach blonde. <laughs> that's just how old I am. Like, no, you're not. Wrong. I'm watching the video and I'm like, no, that's that's Eminem. This dude over here, don't know who this is. <laughs> it is weird. It's still weird seeing him with the dark hair. You're, I'm used to seeing him with the dark hair, so I'm, I'm I've seen him a million times with the dark hair and the hat. That's the that's his look. But Slim Shady with the blonde hair, that's just kind of works. It's like Michael without the without the without the curl. You got you you gotta have it. Mm. You know, it's like Prince without the, the bouffant. 
<laughs> you, <laughs> oh, okay. you know, you got there's certain things that's just programmed in your head. Prince is gonna be wearing a blouse. <laughs> yeah, no, there's gonna be there's gonna be some there's gonna be a blouse, there's gonna be some ruffles, and there's gonna be some lace. So you're talking about Prince. Probably some platform heels. Yes, that it's just certain things go with these guys. But uh man, Eminem, he did it this time. This one, this is one of my favorites. All right, well, I think that's a that's a happy note to conclude on. I'm gonna be running around singing that all day, uh probably all week and Probably you will, you, will, you will be as well. Oh, I'm going to be bumping it, absolutely. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in to the Andrew Tate Show by GSMC Sports. Your support means a lot to us. So please remember to like and subscribe to the show. Also, leave us a positive review. That really does help. You can also follow the podcast on social media, Facebook, X, Instagram, and TikTok uh, for more updates and contents. Thank you again for joining us, and we hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go.